hello from the chair and the mark behind the chair on the wall and Teddy and Charlie. <laughs> It's Thursday. Will I leave the house today is the question. I might turn into one of those people that never leaves the house again. That probably wouldn't be a good idea, but I've been home. I have been home a lot because the dog's getting used to my brother being here. Not that he's here very much. He's not here very much at all, just mainly nights, and he'll pop in during the day sometimes. Um, I think he's going away this weekend too, um, but I just, you know, Teddy especially is like, go on. Charlie's gotten warmed up to it, but Teddy's like, he'll run into my room um, and they get on the bed there, which is fine, but I don't want you to be worried. It's okay. See, so he's wait, looking at the door, waiting. It's going to be okay. I know, sweetheart. It's okay. Anyway, um, yeah, I have a bag to take to the consignment store. It's in the car. I moved it from the house to the car yesterday, thinking maybe today I'll do it. But I've been doing housework this morning because that is my that is my hobby is housework. I did a little bit of work work on my book um, or on Amazon KDP actually the back end stuff, which I'll be talking about on my newly re resurrected second channel, which will not have. A, I'll probably I'm gonna try to film a video and get one up on Sunday. So we'll see. We'll see. And for you, that would already be up. I don't know what's going on. Anywho, but um, it is going to be almost 70 today, I think, in February in Iowa. That is crazy. Crazy. Is it crazy, Teddy? You've been having fun, though. You get to go outside more and play. Yeah. What you looking at? Look at that handsome little boy. Aww. So you guys are so funny. Someone left a comment about, oh, I have an idea for another one of your books. And it's literally going to be the next book. Uh, <laughs> it's already the first draft was already written when I saw the comment. And then I've had Misty and then somebody else left a comment about having merch for the, the tie in with the book. You know, I could do like a print on demand and do shirts and mugs and stuff. Um, I don't know where I'd put it like my own website or something. That's a whole, that's a whole other thing. But like plushies, I mean, that'd be great, but you're talking tens of thousands of dollars to like find a manufacturer to make, you know, plushies that look like the dogs and then order them, store them, ship them. You know, when you see um, traditionally published books and things like Disney and, um, Harry Potter and that kind of stuff. I mean, you've got a multi-billion dollar corporation backing that stuff. They can get all that stuff super easy. To do it independently, that I just, I would need to be under a traditional publishing contract and the books to sell so well that they were going to invest in merch. And like right now, my the first, the first book, Where Did Papa Go? Like sales have just kind of, I maybe sell one or two a day, um, which is fine. And, you know, so many of you guys bought it there in that first week, which was amazing. And I'm just so grateful. Uh, but it's not really selling organically to other people who don't follow the dogs. Now, that is probably because it is pretty niche. And I don't know that everybody, you know, wants to get a, do a book about death, you know, when they're out at the store looking for children's books to get your kids to read them bedtime stories. Hey, let's get this one about dying. <laughs> Maybe not that thing. So we have some more lighthearted ones in there um as well so we shall just see but I already have another idea for a, a, another children's book series so I've just got so many I have more ideas than I have the brain space to store them and the time to get them out but that's okay because I guess we've got all the time in the world right Teddy what do you think see I would like to have a plushie that looks like me and his name will be Teddy yeah <laughs> he is just staring at the door. Are you so worried they're going to come back? Are you worried? You want to... I wish Kay, his dog, would come out. But she, she's a hunting dog. And he goes out and, like, runs her out in the woods. I don't know. I don't know. Um, and then she comes back and she's worn out. She just sleeps when she's here. 
So, but I did take her outside with them the other day just for a little bit. And she wanted to play with them. Um, and Teddy was like, I don't know, I don't know. So they just haven't really spent much time together. Um, so that would be nice because she's the sweetest, sweetest, sweetest dog. Um, despite, I mean, she's a hunting dog. I think she's a coon hound. Is that the term? But she is just, just an angel, isn't she? You like Kay? Kay, where's she at? <laughs> oh, you guys are funny. Yeah, I remember when I took Teddy and Charlie get groomed, at this groomer, you know, they'd bathe them and everything. We don't do that anymore because Te the dermatolo the doggy dermatologist said it wasn't good for Teddy to go to those places because of his skin. But anyway, once I took them in and the groomer had them and another dog in the room with her, um, and she was working on Charlie and they were in the little play area and Teddy and the other dog, they're both nervous dogs. They hid behind like a little, I don't know, box or something. And they were cuddled up together. <laughs> you found, that's when you found a friend to hide. Oh my gosh. Poor little timid Teddy. Yeah, my little pandemic dog who didn't get socialized. Aw, getting tired. Yeah, almost time for our first nap of the day. Nap? Going to take a nap? Yeah. It is now 2 o'clock and I'm back in the chair. I should just vlog 100% from this chair. What do you think about it, Teddy? Teddy says, yeah. So I have been working on uploading the new book to Amazon. So I have a paperback version and a Kindle version. You have to get different ISBN numbers for each. You have to load them in. The formatting is different. The, the Honestly, the most difficult part about self-publishing probably is the actual publishing process, especially when you're doing like this children's book where the size is different. It's just a lot. It's a lot. Now, that doesn't mean that it isn't something you can overcome. I kind of drug my feet when it came to publishing in paperback when it was first offered because I was like, it's too hard. It's too hard. But you can do it. It's just that now that I'm doing children's book is different from a six by nine paperback, which is what my books are in my nonfiction books. So this is a, it's a different size. It's, it's a whole different thing. So I'm like, just ugh. and getting the ISBNs, which I buy from a site called Bowker. Oh, it's always a struggle to get it. It has to match exactly like your title and all. It's just, it's a lot on the back end. So anyway, but that's okay. Cause I wanted to get it out by the end of February. I still have another week. So that is what I have been working on. And my brain is a little bit fried, but, oh, I was, like I said, I thought I'd go to the consignment store today, but here's my reasoning. They put on Facebook yesterday that they were having some computer problems. And then they put today that they think everything's resolved. But I'm like, I'll just wait another day and then I'll be sure everything's resolved. So that gives me an excuse not to go and just stay home, which is like my favorite thing to do. You know, when my dad was alive, I felt so trapped. Like I couldn't go anywhere or do anything. And it was like even running an errand, it was hard. Um, but... Now that he's gone, I'm like, I guess I just wanted to be home anyway. Of course, I was caring for him full time. So it wasn't like I just could do whatever I wanted. I obviously was taking care of him and he had a lot of needs. Um, a lot of that wouldn't show on the vlog or talk about. But um, now my brother's here. Sometimes at night, I'll like have this sense of, oh, did he call for me? Did he call for help? My dad. And then well, my brother called for help. Did he call for help? <sighs> I don't, I don't know that I think I'm going to have that for years, that feeling of like, <gasps> I think I heard my dad calling and I'll, I swear I can hear him calling for me in the middle of the night. But anyway, it's such a nice day. I did take the dogs out a few times already and they love to play in the yard and I stood out and got some vitamin D. I did buy some more calcium plus D vitamins because I'd stopped taking them. And I don't know, after my dad died and everything just got jumbled around, I got some more from Sam's Club um, to help me with my energy because I was really struggling. So back on making sure I drink plenty of water and taking those vitamin D um, tablets, I think has really helped because I have had more energy during the day. 
I am on season, am I on season five still of, or six of Call the Midwife? I'm not sure. They all kind of run together. I'm so bad with names. I have watched, like I said, I've been binging Call the Midwife. It's only in the past few days that I finally, okay, I've always known who Trixie was. Like I remembered her name, Trixie. And then, well, Jenny, when she was still on the show. But Trixie and Chumley or Chummy, whatever they called her. See, I don't even know. But like the nuns' names, I can never remember who's who. It's always hard with the nuns because, you know, the cover, you know, you recognize people so much by their hair. And when the hair is covered, you're just like, which one are you? Which one's that? Which which name? I don't even know. Anyway, but Charlie wants some snuggle time, so that's what we're going to do. Okay, break is over. I had an eBay order. I just redid the eBay room, so now I have to remember <laughs> the stuff to. But it's a John Deere order. And I can see John Deere over here. Okay, so I... Put, yep, I put them together. These four John Deere belt buckles, they do not have the hook thingies on the back. But I just put them in a lot together. And they finally sold for $20.99. I remember picking these up at an estate sale during their 75% off sale. So, buyer's paying shipping as well. I thought about going out and just grabbing something to eat, like, I don't know croissant or something but then I thought let me make this fish that I bought I'm gonna actually make the whole thing and then um I can you know eat what I want tonight and then I can just reheat it over the next few nights that's just easier than you know cooking each piece each time 450 what do you guys think you want a piece of fish you don't like fish the little fishy treats come and you both say mm, no no like those sorry no makeup why do we women do that? I'm sorry. Don't look at my face and my hair. How do we apologize for the way we look? Men never do that. I just washed my face and took off all my makeup. Damn. I've just been triggered by making this fish and making tartar sauce because this is something I would have made for my dad. It's just crazy how these triggers, they just, you think everything's fine and then all of a sudden I can smell the fish and I'm getting the tartar sauce and I'm just, man. But so many of you said it's helpful when I share these things. So yeah, it can just come out of nowhere and I'm making frozen fish fillets and tartar sauce and I really miss my dad. <laughs> it's the next day. It is very windy. I'm at Sam's Club picking up a pickup order, a drive up order because the thought of going in there was too much. This is the first time I've left the house in a few days and yeah. I just, I don't want to get out of the car anymore and go in anywhere. <laughs> but I will have to go because after this, I'm going to the consignment store to take a tote in. So that will be me getting out of the car and going into an establishment. Turning to those people who's just never going to leave their house. And in this day and age, like, do you really have to? I mean, I have to take the dogs to the doctors, obviously. And then if I have to go to the doctor, there's that. But for most things, you can either stay at home or stay in your car. I woke up at like... Oh gosh, five-ish, went to the bathroom, went back to sleep, and then I fell into a crazy deep sleep. <clears throat> Do you ever have those? And you have the craziest dreams ever. I dreamt that I still worked at the Chamber of Commerce. I have this dream a lot, and they're not paying me. Like, my paycheck isn't coming through, but I can't get any resolution. Last night, it was a similar dream that I have that I've actually just dropped down to part-time hours and just so that they'll pay my health insurance. But I'm working, it's the last night I was working way more than that and I couldn't get to t anybody to talk to, to tell them like, I've been working way more hours than I lost my iPhone in the dream. Then a tornado hit, it blew down a house. Again, there were no houses, we, it, the office was downtown. I was still at the office. Blew down a house and I felt really bad. So I opened the door to let like the children and babies in and then these like convicts from the prison got in. And yeah, then I was suddenly in Atlanta <clears throat> at the CNN building and Don Lemon was there. He doesn't work for CNN anymore. He was the only one there. He's like, I'm leaving now. And then he gave me his mandarin oranges. And then I woke up. What, what, what was that? 
don't you hate, I hate those kind of dreams. Like it's just weird and you're like, you're upset and bad things are happening and nothing makes sense. But that's what you get when you wake up and then you go back to sleep and fall into a deep sleep and have weird dreams again. Don Lemon and his order. Whatever happened to him? He got fired from CNN. I, don't, I think I heard he's going to have a show on X, which is Twitter. Anywho, there's that. So I'm waiting for my Sam's Club order. Still traumatized from the crazy dream. Wondering where my money is from my work I did. And like where these convicts are going to murder me now while there's a tornado. Nuts. Anyway. Waiting, waiting, waiting. That's fine. And then to the consignment store and then back home to my puppies. And hopefully I can finish up my book today, the back end work before I can hit publish on the book. And I want to record some videos for my second channel, which I'm resurrecting for to talk about self-publishing. So I'd like to do that too. So we shall see. We shall see. That's all I got. That's all we I got. We are now home from the Club of Sam. Another rotisserie chicken. More eggs. Pepsi. Water. More milk. And I was reading about diverticulitis. And they said they no longer recommend that you avoid popcorn and seeds and nuts. Now, I know that peanuts with the little shell of the little coating thing bother me. I know that corn bothers me. It's those little shell thingies on them. But I, I love this popcorn. And I love this one. So I got two. Oh, and bananas. And bananas. So anyway, take this all in and I will shred the chicken straight away. It's just so easy to eat, keep in the kitchen. Well, obviously it stays in the kitchen. It's in the refrigerator. Good grief. Uh, <laughs> just grab some chicken to eat. Dogs love it too. So ah, now it's time okay, to so I have my bowl of popcorn. I know a lot of you are going to say it has the same thing that the corn and the peanuts. And I realize that. And so it makes me think that I just don't know. When I had sweet corn last, you know, and here's the other thing. The sweet corn may have been because there was butter on it because butter can trigger, it's indigestion that I have a problem with, heartburn and indigestion. So sweet corn, because there was butter on it, maybe that was the problem with the sweet corn that made me so sick. And the peanuts, I just, I made peanut clusters over the holidays and they, I just felt, I don't know, they, they weren't going down right. So there's something in the peanut. I can have peanut butter. Um, I'd had peanut, I haven't had popcorn in a while, so we'll see what this does. But some foods just cause indigestion, and it may not even be because of the diverticulitis or the IBS. It just may be that food, for whatever reason, wasn't agreeing with me. But I love this white cheddar smart food popcorn. It's so good. The price has gone way up at Sam's. We almost seven bucks for a bag. Used to be like two for seven. What the heck? I gotta put something back there on that mark. Look what I found. It's the giant. Um, Dr. Pepper lip balm. Uh, uh -huh. Who else is having junior high flashbacks from this thing? Got it at Target. I've had it for quite a while. I found it in the bathroom drawer. Because someone hoards lip balm. Okay, so I just got done filming two videos for my new channel. So one will go up Sunday, one will go on Tuesday. I really like to do three days a week over there because, again, I, I can sit down and film a video and not edit it, just one take. And I have a lot to share about it, people seem interested, and it can be another way to make money. And you know I'm all about that. So we don't have to go to the county home when we're old. <sighs> so anyway, now I'm gonna edit and upload those. And when I say edit, I just have to basically chop out the first little bit and the last little bit where I'm like making faces and looking crazy um, and upload them. So. Let's see. My brother's not here. He didn't, I didn't see him at all yesterday. So he must have left in the morning and then just gone straight down to the, wherever he goes, the farm. He calls it the farm. There's a hunting. He's got a friend on this big property who has like a hunting lodge man cave thing and invites his friends. Then they go down there and I don't know what they do. Anyway, so it's just me this weekend. So it's like, ooh, house to myself. He's not, my brother's not here very much anyway. So I usually have the house to myself. Um... But I feel energized filming those videos because, like I said, I can do them in just one take and I have a lot to share. 
and people seem interested now with the non or the uh, self-publishing. So then we have these two. Yep, there's Charlie Hump and Teddy. Cause he's like, that's my spot, Teddy. That's my spot. Oh, they want to play rough, and now we're playing rough. Cause it's four thirty, and I gave them an extra treat since I was filming. It's so funny when they fight because they have little flat faces and they can't, you know, dogs will like uh, mouth each other, but like <laughs> they can't <laughs> because their little mouths are flat. <laughs> so they just, they like gum each other. Arr, arr, arr. You're like two little old men with your dentures out. Arr, arr, arr. Yeah. Um, let's see. What else is there to talk about? I don't know. I think I've got two loads of laundry downstairs. One in the dryer, and then one that needs to go in the dryer. Do I want to go do that? <laughs> How can I turn this into a children's book? Charlie and Teddy are gumming each other. Oh my gosh, they're playing too rough. They're playing too rough. Oh, that'd be, that'd be an interesting topic. When you play too rough. Look at, I got a tail. Look at the girly tail. Oh! Anyway, well, that's the update for now. I'm going to go and, oh, and people ask me what camera to use, my iPhone. I film, edit, upload everything on my iPhone and then using the YouTube Studio app. And then I finish it up over on my laptop. So easy peasy. I do the bare minimum. I do the bare minimum on YouTube. That's all I do. So works for me.